so we've already st- completed the ionization enthalpy concept we've already done let us see what what have we done in the block we have studied trends in atomic and ionic radii yes we have done oxid sorry we have done ionization enthalpy yes we have also done learned what is the concept of uh, enthalpy of atomization done we also studied how are the questions related based on electronic configuration where are related with the color property or st- stabilization concept and aqueous solutions and uh, have shown you whether it, it's going to show paramagnetic or diamagnetic behavior now let us come back and learn oxidation states now oxidation state questions are basically very easy questions but let's see how can we answer such question if it is given in the exam now when i speak about your transition elements oxidation state so what on what basis is oxidation state depends on oxidation state depends on a few concepts let us see i'm going to relate those concepts in all these questions so your oxidation state of transition elements or rather any element it depends on first important thing electronic configuration i am going to pre- uh, take the electronic configuration calculate how many oxidation states is it showing how many electrons can it donate right so the first concept is it depends on electronic configuration the next concept is this oxidation state or the uh, uh, this in property of showing so losing so many electron it also depends upon sorry if i say the stereochemistry of that molecule very important stereochemistry i'll be using uh, this concept also stereochemistry of this molecule right did i write the spelling no stereochemistry yes this is correct now this also depends upon nature of bonding okay i'm going to use this concept also nature of bonding also i'm going to use and do the questions after this the oxidation state concept also depends upon lattice and en- lattice energy okay lattice energy concept also i'll be doing this also depends upon your solvation energy yes and i can also say if i have to specifically uh, speak about uh, the lattice enthalpy okay i will do one question on lattice enthalpy very interesting yes hmm. solvation energy also yeah. so all these concepts will uh, will affect or will show an impact on the element oxidation state so what uh, let us see how can i solve these questions so which electron let us see the first question which electron are available for bonding in transition elements i said i'll be using uh, all these uh, concepts so first question is based on your electronic configuration so which electrons are involved in d or transition elements basically the electrons of n minus 1d as well as as ns electrons are utilized so both are used in your uh, bonding so electrons that is n minus d 1 to 10 and 0 to 2 i have already shown why did i take 0 so both these are involved done so i have used this concept of electronic configuration now let us see this is a very important famous question i don't know okay fine so what is the highest element in transition series which shows highest oxidation state lowest oxidation state and maximum oxidation state all the three questions club together so highest oxidation state in transition elements is shown by an element called ruthenium ruthenium is it is coming under your 4d series so first is ruthenium ruthenium 4d series i said uh, so 4d okay and 4d after 4d it is 5s now next element which is showing uh, highest oxidation state is osmium osmium it comes under 5d series and 6s so when i have to fill the electrons this is 4d7 5s1 so 7 plus 1 8 osmium is 5d6 6s2 okay so how many can it donate it can donate the maximum oxidation state of both just see 7 plus 1 8 here 6 plus 2 8 so the maximum oxidation state of 8 Eight shown by os ruthenium and osmium. Done. I have to see now lowest oxidation state. So the lowest oxidation state when I speak, this is basically shown by transition metal complexes. So this is your coordination chemistry chapter where we'll be speaking about coordinate covalent complexes. So the lowest oxidation state is shown by nickel. How in nickel when it is trying to form a complex with carbonyl. this is called a nickel tetra carbonyl so nickel tetra carbonyl in this particular thing this is a co- complex coordinate complex here the carbonyl group is a neutral ligand okay we have weak ligand strong ligands okay right uh, the, again in that you have a neutral ligand also the ambidentate ligands also so i'll be dealing with this chapter uh, once i'm done with this so this co is a neutral ligand most important when it is a neutral ligand the charge on ligand is zero 
How do I calculate? I am going to take this metal as x plus 4 into 0 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 0. So, nickel is the element which will show 0 oxidation state when it is in the form of a complex. So, the lowest oxidation state is shown by nickel in nickel tetracarbonate. Done. And next, maximum oxidation state. So, maximum oxidation state when I have seen this manganese is showing maximum oxidation state that is plus 7. So, I can write manganese plus 7. So, 7 plus 7 is a maximum oxidation state. Simple question, isn't it? So, just note the concept.